Today, we've got some Vega 11 news. Intel pulls the curtain off the 7920X and the origins of Threadripper. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Gamer Melt. Before I begin, I want to let everyone know that I've been on a slight hiatus the past few days thanks to Hurricane Irma. Well, I'm back today, and there's some pretty interesting news. First up, DigiTimes brings us a pretty awesome story. Apparently, AMD is already beginning production of the rumored Vega 11 GPUs, as Siliconware Precision Industries has already received packaging orders, if this report is accurate. Global Foundries is set to remain the manufacturer with their 14 nanometer process. So for those who don't know, Vega 11 is rumored to be AMD's replacement for the current 570 and 580 GPUs. To be honest though, I wouldn't expect any massive performance improvements. I look at this as more of an incremental change to get Vega's architecture more across the board as a full product stack. But given the not so impressive results compared to the competition on Vega's current top tier GPUs, I wouldn't expect too much. Next up, Intel has fully unveiled their 12 core 24 thread 7920X and it's pretty much underwhelming so far. You get two more cores for 200 more dollars and lower clocks. Don't get me wrong, it's still going to be a great chip, but the fact that it's even $200 more than AMD's 16 core 32 thread 1950X, it's definitely not a massive deal. Of course, and this is a pretty big thing when it comes to these much higher core CPUs, if a program can't utilize but say 10 out of the 16 cores, Intel's chip will perform better here, thanks to its superior clocks and IPC. The 7920X comes with 16.5 megabytes of L3 cache and is rated at quite an impressive 140 watt TDP. For anyone who's interested, I'll have an affiliate link to it in the description below. Lastly is a really cool revelation that comes from an interview with Forbes, where Siri Youngbauer stated that Threadripper, AMD's newest high-end desktop CPU, was actually the brainchild of a few AMD engineers in their spare time. Siri Youngbauer says, and I quote, there's a unique story surrounding Threadripper, but one that gives testament to the spirit that's emerging in the company as we go through this transition since 2014 when we announced our Zen architecture. It's not really a story of roadmaps and long-term planning or huge R&D budgets. It's a lot more personal than that and stemmed from a skunk work project and a small group of AMD employees who had a vision of a processor they'd really want in terms of a high-performance PC. They worked on it in their spare time, and it was really a passion project for about a year before they sought the green light from management, which was quite unusual. It was something they really cared about. The result, several years later, was Ryzen Threadripper. Simply put, they saw a gap between Ryzen and Epic and knew something had to fill it. Ryzen Threadripper was born. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Excited for what the 1920X can do? And what about Vega 11? Let me know down in the comments below. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggest a video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.